Hi, in this video, we'll talk about Google Advanced Markers. Google has announced these advanced markers in October last year. So this is their official documentation. The link is given in the video. Here you can see these markers are more interactive. Here another example of interactivity that you click and it turns. You can do a lot more things with these markers. So let's get started with the JavaScript locator. Here right now we have the simple markers. So let's switch them first with the Google advanced markers. Here we have these documentation about how you can move them to Google advanced markers. In the map section of the ASL settings, you can choose the markers that you want to move. So let's get started with the ASL settings. ASL settings, maps. Here we have the advanced markers right now. This is disabled. And we have a lot more options that we can choose in this. So let's choose the circle, which is the first one. Let's save it. Now let's refresh our stroll locator. And here you can see that we have now Google Advanced Markers instead of the normal marker that we had. So, so now let's see what we can do with the customization of these markers. In our documentation, we have defined how you can customize the content as well as you can change the marker colors. So we will start with these colors. We have defined the background color and the marker color. So let's copy it, the CSS rule and then we'll paste it into our site additional settings. Appearance, customize. Here we have additional CSS. We can paste this in it and save it. So as you can see that this is the basic marker and we have changed the color hex code and the marker in a content color to white color. Let's refresh this and the marker color has changed. It has turned into red with the white as the color. Now let's see what else we can do. Here we have some more CSS related rules. We can copy it like this can change the highlight color and the highlight background. Copy it and paste it over here. Refresh the store locator and on hover you can see that those colors are appearing. So that was one thing that you can change with the colors. There's a lot more you can do with these advanced markers. Uh, let's close this and move to the customizer. Here we have the advanced markers in the template section. Choose it. Here we have variety of sections that, that represent the markers. Let's choose the circle which we are using right now. Load the template. Um, let's try to change the icon. For example, I have installed Font Awesome and I want to change this icon to something else such as Facebook icon, FA, FA, Facebook. Save it. Now let's refresh the store locator. So as you can see that the marker in the content has changed. Now let's change something else. For example, we want to show uh, the closest number when we apply the search. For example, let's see. Uh, we search 1003 New York and we want to show the number the number closer to the location will appear to the marker content. So for that, let's change the content. I'll remove this Facebook icon and state, I'll write if label, 
here we will print the label and close the condition and save it now let's move to the store locator and refresh the page and now once we apply a search it should show the number closest to the uh, store and you can see that we have the numbers like one is the closest to that search location second third that's sorted by the distance now let's change the marker type that we are using right now let's choose the tag change it save it we have different HTML for it our previous changes that we add the label will not appear in it refresh it and you can see that we have labels over here now for example we want to show uh, the closest distance next to the title when we have a search so we'll go back to the customizer change it to tags load the template and we'll write the condition again we'll write it if we have distance strayer distance we will print it and we'll close the condition with the else statement we'll print the same title save it let's refresh it again and now once we apply a search it should show the distance instead of the title once is equal three as you can see that now instead of the title we are seeing the distance closest to the location so now let's be more creative what if we want to change it according to the some category we want to change some color according to the category for instance we have for instance we have restaurant we don't have any stores in the restaurant let's add a couple of them restaurants another one restaurants so we have added two stores in the restaurant categories here we have it now what if once we apply a search it should highlight those stores that have the restaurant categories so for that let's move back to the customizer and we write we'll revert this one with the reset template and we'll write over here for example we'll change the color style as equals to background we'll make it uh, maybe orange we'll write if C names which represent for the categories we will add this rule and close it with the if condition save the template now those stores that have restaurant category should have a orange background let's see if it's working on that here we have those two categories that have the restaurant they have changed their colors that's it thank you for watching goodbye